OK, so what I have is an equation that we want to solve for. That means find the values of x that are going to make this equation true when our output or our y value is equal to 0. Now, what we're working on for here is determine if we have a perfect square trinomial. And I don't need this work. That's from a different video. So when I'm looking at this, the main important thing to determine is a perfect square trinomial is determine my c. Is c a perfect square? And you can see that, yes, my number 25 is a perfect square because it could either be 5 times 5 or negative 5 times negative 5. Then, so I take the square root of my c, which is square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So I take the square root of 25, which equals 5. Now, I want to see, is my middle term double that either the positive or the negative. So double 5 is 10. And remember, it can be positive or negative. Well, yes, we have a negative 10. So by factor, so therefore, if since this is double, I now have a perfect square. So once I have a perfect square, to write my factors, remember, if my middle term is negative, that means my two factors, p and q, also have to be negative. So to quickly write this out, I can write x minus 5 times x minus 5. All right. Then now what we can do is rewrite this as a squared. Or you could use zero product property from here, but you're going to get the same answer. Use my inverse operations. 0 equals x minus 5. Add 5. Answer equals x equals 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a quadratic for a perfect square. Thanks.